Hello, I'm Sancho Luis Noguera Serrano, President of the European Bamboo Society and we are here in Valencia uh, 2013 on the pre-encounter um, this March that we are yet receiving all of our representatives that will be gathering here in order to study, to have our yearly meeting, uh, to, to follow the path of studies. Then we are here, since some weeks ago, we are treating about uh, the classical part of our tradition about Jujutsu Katame no Iko, the part of ground fighting, ground combat, and we are studying several and interesting techniques that uh, we are showing you, updating on our official channel Masugiyama on YouTube, and many of you, many of the people that is following these videos and some other students are impressed about uh, these explanations and we are here uh, trying to, to, to offer you more information about this part that uh, it's uh, gathering people regarding uh, wrestling, regarding mixed martial arts and people very involved with, uh, with ground fighting that are pretty much interested in this part of our tradition. Then, in this case, I will I will show a technique that we have saw in the past, on the past videos, and it's many people is asking about because seem very particular to the ancient tradition, but at the same way very efficient, very practical or modern practice. Then, as we are trying to offer you all information about our tradition, about how it's our way of fighting, of ground fighting. Let's talk a little about the details to, to arrive to this point in order to, to, to solve the doubts that many people is asking us by email, by YouTube channel, etc. Then please, in this case, in order to arrive to the point, uh, we are using a special, a specific technique, a specific sequence. I am using here Asuke uh, Matia, Matias Ruiz Diaz from Paraguay, Paraguay Daihosa, the representative here, that it, he is uh, spending with us some time in order to study all these all these details. Then we are using Nihon Me sequence, the fifth sequence of Nihon Me, that will be employing uh, under an attack that it's trying to grab both my sleeves and try to cut me and take me to the ground. Then from this position I will try to punch and I will grab himself and throw him to the ground. In this situation we will solve different positions, different solutions in order to arrive to that situation. Then, from here, please, he will be grabbing my mune on this position, trying maybe to throw, trying maybe to throw me to the ground, and in this position he will be very strong. His arms will be like, like, uh, like iron in order to avoid me, because if I try something he will be uh, with a lot of strength here and I will be avoided to do whatever. That in, the, uh, in this case I will punch upwards. At the same time I am using my tegatana uh, on the popliteal area of the, uh, of, of, the, of the elbow making a pair of forces here. Here punching and in the same way here doing this in order to break his force in these arms. Then from here, punching. Now I will grab here up, trying to control with my with my fist close here, and turning my hip to the side and throwing him in a dance kyotoshi atama. From here I am catching his atama, making the pressure, making a choke and a, and a neck lock here and at the same time using my hip to, to strike, to strike his, uh, his uh, apes area in order to try to throw him with the head down, head to the ground because in Jiu Jitsu, always in the ancient tradition, we are using ground as a weapon then in this case, from here, I will use in order to throw to this position from here, the kata aims to take him up and point in this uh, and locate in this position. 
okay? Because from here we will go in a Sankaku. But in this case, we will go to the side and push him into this position that it's a very common situation under ground fighting. With here, we are avoiding here uh, to go with me to this side, to turn to the side and trying to fight. In these conditions, I will put my uh, left arm here, grab my foot here and try to make this control in order to be capable of closing the Sankaku. In this situation, many people have problems with the Sankaku because they are here and this it's impossible. Maybe we have the liberate for the lock on the elbow here, but he will be capable of here to taking me out my hand, to grabbing my foot here, and will be very difficult. Then in this case, as I am seeing, have this control close and have the Sankaku. But sometimes we have this, the, the following problem. The trouble here is he could catch my ankle here and try maybe from this position to take to the side in order to regain his position. Then from here we are going to see this kind of, uh, of, uh, of technique that I was explaining that was very interesting and many people is asking about how to, how to arrive to that point. From here he will be strong and we have the problem because we are unable to catch my foot, he's trying to stop, maybe he could try uh, in our ancient tradition uh, he could, for example, try to grab my foot, my, 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 uh, my toes here and uh, it will be uh, painful for me. Then from here I will go to the side, I will go up the head and from here I will cut the head and pass uh, downward my, my left heel here and having like a hasani, a scissor technique here. His arm is between my leg from this position and the key here is not only making uh, a pressure between my legs here like a yuji here. Not only. The idea here is to press his, uh, his arm on this like uh, closing the scissor and making the pressure with the uh, with the back side part of my of my knee, making pressure to his head in order to perform a uh, neck lock on this side. With my popliteal area of my knee, we are pressing on the upper side of his uh, of his spine, on the back side of his cranial area here, in order to make this is a strong control and from here we are using in order to have control on his scapulas, on his scapulas area. Then from here we have this control that it's very very strong. From here we can at the same time trying to make a, a spiral line in order to have the control of the neck as we are saying having his arm completely straight and trying to uh, take out from the shoulder here and turning. That will be quite more painful, quite more painful. Then from here we could change into other position. Here we pass, we release the head and from here pass to this side, having this control. His neck here in order to fall to having control of the neck and from here we could pass to a uh, side control like cutting his arm or cutting for example his leg to this situation yeah. have control and we have not only control of the left side of his body of his trunk but moreover having control and pressure on the neck lock that we have here then he is fully uh, fully controlled that is the aim that we are trying to perform on this Katamino Iko, in this round fighting. Then, from the beginning, in order to uh, remember all the controls that we have here, from here, when we are on the upper side of the body, we pass here to have control. Of course, if we are here, this is a bad position because he could uh, regain this situation, try to go up, 
and we would be in a in a in a fight that we are don't wanting to to arrive. Then pass to this position, have control here. First control, pass to the sun kaku position. I have control here. If he is trying to grab my ankle, my heel here, go to the side, pass, have control, a stretch, having full control. And in this case, pass here, control here, and take the arm or both the arms on the left and have this strong control that he will be avoided to defend against this situation. Then we have a full power series of techniques of ground fighting that could be very interesting for all people like you that you are following in our official channel that are wanting to know more about our ground fighting techniques and you are coming from maybe uh, mixed martial arts or modern ground fighting wrestling techniques that are wanting to know more about what is our classical or ancient vision from the from the katameno we call to say the, the ground fighting. Thank you very much and see you soon. Thank you.